Hey, welcome back, guys. We got One Piece episode 1111 here with us today. We are ready for some more Egghead foreplay because we all know that the main course, you know, the ding is going down next weekend when Shanks takes down Kid. Or should I say Kid takes down Shanks, that evil ass pirate. And yeah, let's just see what Toei's cooking up this week, though. Funny enough, he could just fly to Egghead, right? He could really just fly to Egghead. He doesn't have to ride on this ship. I should get some food. Let the vice- Oh, the vice admiral! Yo! Oh my god, are we gonna see the VAs? Holy crap, this episode's gonna be massive! No way, is that this episode? Oh my god, I think it is. No, I don't know. I don't know. He, he mentioned Vice Admirals, though, and you you guys know how I feel about those VAs. Also, Saturn! Damn! What is he drinking? Red wine? They bumped up the saturation on Saturn by, like, 30%. He looks so cool. What the heck? I'm curious now. Did Sentomaru know all along that Stussy was good? Or did he just find out? Yeah, and the doctor is probably smarter than people of Ohara too, right? Like, I feel like the only smart person from Ohara was just... Clover. And he was just a regular guy. He didn't have the no me no me no me like Vegapunk. Damn. Those jet boots are really cool. Yeah, hurry up and get off. I was surprised they don't have, like, submarines. Yeah, like, they're hopping on ships, right? Yeah. I'm surprised there's not, like, an underwater submarine that they could just hop onto. Because, you know, if it's a ship, the marines could just sink it. If it's a submarine, it's going to be a lot harder to hit. Oh, the traitor. Oh, 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 I think it, yeah. I think the traitor's revealed. Come on, stop teasing us! Get rid of the silhouette! Get rid of the shadow! Yep, you can already tell by the smile, it's York! <laughs> it's that classic York smile. Oh, you got this, Frankie. Oh? Oh, Pythagoras. He could have just pretended to be dead, right? I feel like if he just laid on the floor, it would have been convincing. Kill him! Step on him! Yeah! Do it! Dude, I never liked Pythagoras. Th this made me happy. Yep. Finally. Finally, he's gone. And then as they could have just smashed the statues, right? Like that would that would just kill him. Sanji's eyes look a little bit different here, huh? That Jerma DNA kicking in, brother. Oh, come on, Sanji, show him who's boss! Sanji, Sanji, Sanji! Yeah! Arms folded and everything. Yep. Sanji, you're awesome. Do you know the power of love? I like to imagine Jinbei's like, what the hell? This is the power of science, man. What are you talking about? Damn. I forgot how big S-Hawk was. Jesus. He's taller than Zoro. Oh, man. I love it when they add more to the fights like this. Oh. A red hawk? Yo. Where's Luchi? Luchi, come on. Jump in. Jump in, brother. I'm surprised Luffy doesn't go gear 5th and Luchi just doesn't awaken. 
I guess they want to like run out of stamina right away, but I feel like they would just wrap it up so quickly. Hey, Sok just disappeared. It's smart. Okay, Kaku. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the ruthlessness that those bastards would do. Brother, you guys would do the exact same thing. That's so funny. I like how it took him a second to realize Luffy called him Usopp. Also, man, I love these team ups. Luffy, Luchi, Zoro, Kaku. It's it's actually the dream team. <laughs> I like how Luchi's realizing Luffy's dumb. Luffy, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Yeah, I guess Rob Lucci never, like, he spent so little time with Luffy that he hasn't realized that Luffy's a little bit of a knucklehead. This is everything that happened the day before the famous Egghead incident. Are we cutting away? It all started three months earlier. Wait, I forgot. <laughs> How does this episode go again? Marie's raw three. M oh yeah, yeah. They, they get the they get the phone call. They get the phone call. Wow, they really hit the voice. That's the same voice that every detective movie uses when the killer calls the cops. And this is also almost the exact same cadence as when Light calls the police detectives as Kira. Or was it L hiding from the public? Either one. You know, this I, I remember this from Death Note. That's so funny. Truly a mystery. Oh, is this a new soundtrack for One Piece? You got like the scary hymns in the background. Also, we're actually seeing what happened to the ships. They got eaten. What the hell? We did not see that in the manga. What? Imagine that wasn't due to a satellite or a Vegapunk, and it was actually just a pirate trying to frame Vegapunk. That would be insane. Just a pirate stations off the coast, just destroys every Cyber Pole agent ship they see. That would be big brain. I don't know why they would do it, but that would be a strategy. Oh, they got a snitch among them. The Gorus, they look really cool. They they kind of went in on those uh, those drawings, man. The drawings, the colors, the shading, like goddamn. Toei must love these guys, huh? A reinforcement for the requested of various navy branches. Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna get the VAs. The deployment was of that of the deployment was on the scale of full war. Come on, come on, Toei. Come on, to Oh, it's Guillotine! <laughs> Yo, Cincinnati! Doll, oh, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. There, there, there's more VAs. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, who cares about the straw hats, guys? Oh, come on, we gotta go back to the to the Marines. Okay, I, I admit, Sanji flipping that rice is pretty cool. A Kainu, nice, nice. Oh, nice. A little uh, snippet of Luffy versus Luchi. Love to see it. In any case, the incident will come to an end the next day. And the outcome will shock the world in an unexpected way. I really like how Oda framed it, saying, hey, everything's going to come to a head tomorrow. You know, there's no guessing of like, oh, how long are we going to be here? You know, how long is this arc? How long are we going to be on Egghead? No, no, no. They're literally like, yo, tomorrow it's over. <laughs> you know, tomorrow it's done. I like that. 
There's more VAs present, but we don't get to see all of them this chapter. Or this episode, I mean. Oh, I'm so excited. Guys, what the what the hell is this? Guys, stop banging on the windows at the exact same time. What is that, mind-controlled robot? Stop. They're not even saying anything. They're just banging on the window. It's like a kid at PetSmart. <laughs> you know, just tap it on the glass. Stop, dude. Yo, is this who I think it is? Well, I mean, I know. But is it York? Is it York? Oh, yes. The best satellites here. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what I'm fucking talking about. I'm gonna be a celestial dragon. Yep, joining the boys. <laughs> Love to see it. Do you want to be as filthy as they are? Well, Vegapunk. Yeah, that's something Shaka would say, loser. Damn, York is cheeked. Wouldn't one Vegapunk be enough for the world? Hey, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. You know, I, I saw I saw six of these losers walking around the island. I was pretty sick of it, dude. Kill all of them. <laughs> Why don't you? <laughs> don't let me stop you. Oh, let's see the preview, man. Oh, going back to Elbeth. Yep. Shanks. The King Crew? Wow, that's the best they've ever looked. That's the best they've ever looked. Yeah, the red-haired pirates. And boom. Clash. Shanks versus Eustace Kid. Who's gonna win? <laughs> hey, hey. My money's on Kid. You know, in a 1v1 battle, always vote and bet on Eustace Captain Kid. Uh, but hey, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. This was a great episode. Um, a lot of things I either forgot about or they just added. Uh, love to see it. Animation was top-notch. Soundtrack was great. Dude, like I said, you know, coming into Egget Island... Toei, the people who work at Toei, said that One Piece had awful soundtracks leading up until this point. And what did Toei do? They went out and they got a bunch of new soundtrack and sound effects. Love to see- Dude, Toei changing in 2024 is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Uh, and I just gotta say, I gotta thank that one Japanese animator who decided to take a stand and actually say something, you know? And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I, I bring this up pretty often, but back when we first got to Egghead Island, somebody came out and they're like, hey, we made beautiful scenes for Zoro versus King and Luffy versus Kaido and everything at Wano, but... Even though the animation looks great, the sound effects held it back. They're like, yo, like the sound effects have not changed in so long and it just didn't match the quality that Toei's putting out here, especially nowadays. So it looks like Toei listened, they took heed and they changed it up. Toei is a, uh... dude, they're a force to be reckoned with, man. Ever since the Wit Studio remake got announced, Toei has been bumping up that game. Uh, but hey, with that being said, thank you guys so much for joining me on this little adventure. I really freaking appreciate it. This episode was a phenomenal one and next week is going to be even crazier believe it or not but yeah i'll catch y'all later peace out